Hi Curlies, it's Lana and I'm here with Jasmine and she's going to show you how she got these beautiful curls on her mermaid fro from Curly Clips. Stay tuned. Hey Curlies, so basically this is a Bantu knot out. First I applied my first set of clips um, which are my three clip wefts, my four clip wefts and the twos from the first set. Don't worry ladies, I'll show you how I bantu knotted my curly clips. So after the first set is installed, I installed my four clip wefts from my second set. Okay, so this is how I achieve my Bantu knots. I simply twist and wrap, ladies. Twist and wrap, twist and wrap. I can't say it enough until all of the hair is in a complete Bantu knot. Quick tip, this was done on damp hair, not soaking wet hair. Please remember, if you bantu knot these clip outs with soaking wet hair, you will be waiting days for them to dry. So do this on damped hair. And how long did it take for these bantu knots to dry for yours? Um, overnight. I let them dry overnight. Um, I can't remember exactly what time during the night, but I, I bantu knot my hair at night and I just let them dry and then took them out the next morning. Okay, cool. To the So this is how I unravel my bantu knots. I simply just twist in the opposite direction, trying not to disturb the curl from the bantu knot. Back to clipping. So this is the... This is the three clip web. Okay. I'm in the front. And then I clip my twos in between, but I clip my three clip webs in the front um, to give it that no part look. So on my leave out, I just bantu knotted it just as I did with the curly clips. Um, when unraveling them, be very careful to reduce frizz. And what does that entail? Just gently unraveling the hair. In the opposite direction, right? Yes, exactly. Now I'm just separating the curls. Ladies, please be very gentle when separating these curls, um, or it'll just be one huge frizz ball, and we don't want that. Yeah, we didn't spend all this time Bantu not in the world. Just to get an afro puff. Right. You didn't have to <laughs> so, do all that for an afro puff. <laughs> confession to make I wore this hair for about a week and a half to two weeks and the maintenance on it was phenomenal I I it cut back so much time when doing my curly clips versus if I did a regular wash and go so when you do hairstyles like this lady it can still lengthen the lifespan of your clips Okay, so this isn't anything new for my already natural ladies. If you aren't natural, you're going natural, thinking about going natural. This is basically just like a fluffing method, just to fluff out your roots. Um, and it helps covering the tracks. So don't forget to fluff, ladies. And now you're just blending your natural hair with the curly clips and doing the no part method. Okay, so to blend it, I'm just pinning down wherever I feel fit. Um, just to make sure all of the tracks are covered. And this is your no part method, correct? Yes. And you're taking hair from the side. And pinning it up going towards the other direction. 
And that's it, ladies. This is how I achieved my beautiful, beautiful Bantu knot out. I hope you like it. It is gorgeous, darling. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you can do this on the My Spirals collection too, but the day we filmed I wasn't feeling too good, so Jasmine is just demonstrating on the My Fro, but it, you can do it on the My Spirals, it looks just as pretty. I hope you love this tutorial, and we'll talk to you later. Bye! Bye.